Hello, it's Blue Orange 22. Um, so I want to do a video about a case in Australia right now. Um, Jari Wise, uh, he was murdered by his fiance. Um, she hit him with her car and killed him. And it's making the news now because she was not charged with murder and she was uh, released on bail. And uh, this is an issue that MRAs talk about. Um, I've actually posted about this on Reddit before, and I'm gonna make uh, videos about it in the future. But there is a very scary trend where women murder men and don't go to jail for it or get a very short sentence for it. And feminists have been um, lobbying for uh, laws and practices that really kind of excuse when women murder men. Um, take a look at the case. So this is a post from his mother. Uh, that's him on the right. That's his fiance on the left who killed him. His name is Jari Wise. Um, I'm going to read the first half of the post that she made. Um, by the way, she was released on bail after murdering him. Uh, but here we go. My son was killed yesterday by his partner. I'm sure you're aware of this. Today, she is going to court for breaching restraining order and will be bailed. It could take months for any justice to even begin for the loss of my son to domestic violence. Many times he had walked away. Many times he'd been brought to my door by police as they knew it was safest for him. We sat outside his house not long ago and as a grown man, he was scared to go inside. I had to wait up the street in case he called out for me and needed me to come back. She attempted to stab him last month and he was charged. She scarred his body many times with her violence. He was no angel, but he did not to my knowledge, lay a hand on her. Now, what's worthy to note is how uh, she said that she had stabbed him before. She had scarred his body before. She should have already been in prison. If a man stabbed a woman, he wouldn't just be released. He would be taken to jail. Not only did she stab him, now she's killed him. So not only, I mean, she stabbed him and then was released. Now she's actually killed him and was released. But even that first time, just the first stabbing, a man would have been taken to jail. And she wasn't. She stabbed him and she was released. He was afraid to go with his own home. She had stabbed him before. She never went to jail for it. Now she's killed him. So this is an example of how feminism is literally killing men. Now let's take a look at the article. So this is an article of the story. I've linked it down below, but take a look at what this says. She has been charged with four breaches of a police family violence order, which is basically like a restraining order, and is due to appear at Hobart Magistrates Court on Sunday. And uh, the mother followed up on Facebook. She was bailed and is not in jail. She's free right now. But she was only, she killed someone. She literally killed someone, as you can see in the article. But she was only charged with breaching the restraining order. And now she's released from jail. Just imagine if the genders were reversed. So to me, this is very scary. Uh, if 50% of the population knows that they can murder the other 50% of the population and not get in that much trouble for it. I'm not saying no trouble at all, so no one can misquote me, but getting bailed when you murder someone, even if she got a five year or a 10 year sentence for murder, that's still saying that the life of a man is much less valuable than the life of a woman. And it's basically saying that you can kill this kind of human if you're born a certain way and it doesn't count as much. And that's a very, very scary thing. Um, if men were really a privileged class and if women were really an oppressed class, then women wouldn't be treated lightly when they murder men. There's no society where the oppressed class can murder the privileged class and not get in as much trouble for it. So just imagine if a man had hit a woman with his car and killed her and he was released on bail that same night. Imagine if a man murders a woman and was released on bail that same night. Imagine what feminists would say.